in southwest China's Chongqing municipality have left 16 people dead. 16 others are missing. Heavy rainfall starting Saturday triggered floods and landslides in multiple counties across Chongqing. In Kaixian County, rainfall reached a record 270 millimeters. Holiday weekend washout. In Boston, flash flooding closing highways. Up to three inches of rain falling in less than two hours. And more than 2,500 miles west, at least a dozen water rescues. Watch as this car plows into the muddy flood water in Landers, California. The driver getting out just in time as wave after wave buries his car. Severe storms smothering the Midwest, dropping tennis ball sized hail in South Dakota and a tornado in North Dakota. The island is now under a state of emergency as lava continues to move closer to homes in the Puna area. The lava is now only 0.8 miles away from Kaohe Ove homestead. Watch out for the shock, it's coming. Overnight, the East Coast slammed with heavy rains, damaging winds, and lightning from Maryland to Maine. Oh! Beachgoers in Ipswich sent running by several massive jolts, one of them striking two beachgoers. Another strike sending this Abington, Pennsylvania home up in flames. Across New England, roads and yards soaked by several inches of rain as winds up to 60 miles an hour sent trees crashing through homes and power lines. In West Virginia, highways and homes swallowed by flash floods. Meanwhile, the West feeling some of the moisture from Norbert. Roadways in California washed away by raging floodwaters while wind and heavy rains batter Arizona. Emergency workers are trying to reach hundreds of thousands of people in northern India and Pakistan, cut off by the worst floods for decades. Hundreds have died in the disputed Himalayan region of Kashmir. In Pakistan, it's thought the floods could be linked to the collapse of a mosque in Lahore, which killed at least two dozen people yesterday. The Chenab River has risen dramatically and more flooding is expected over the next 48 hours. 
Thousands of homes have been submerged, roads and power lines damaged, and thousands left without electricity and drinking water. A wild 24 hours of extreme spring weather has battered Melbourne. After a night of damaging winds, torrential rain brought flash flooding this afternoon, forcing evacuations around the suburbs. Snow continues to fall second day and it's not stopping anytime soon. A massive cleanup is underway after a wet September snowstorm. Absolutely a record breaker. I've seen more damage and had more calls from this storm than any time previous. This is the middle of the highway in Nevada. It's flooding down the middle of the highway, down the median, under the bridge, and over this way. Yeah, it's the wrong way, as long as we don't see a car floating down them. Yeah, 10-4. Like that. Yeah, there is one coming down, ain't there? Yeah, there's a car coming. That guy just got swept up in the water. Holy shit. sections of the highway that are completely gone and buckled. Rain devastated parts of Arizona Monday after remnants of Hurricane Norbert moved over the desert southwest. The National Weather Service recorded 3.29 inches of rain, which broke the all-time record of 2.91 inches set in 1933. On this historic day in the valley, not only did we shatter our daily record, we shattered the record for the most rain we've ever received in a day. Prior to today, we had only had 2.22 for the entire year. It looks like I have lakefront property. The problem is Ron Hahn's home is in the middle of the desert. I've never seen anything like this before. The historic rains that hit the valley affect it makes us especially hard. This looks like a mini Katrina farther down to the west. Homes, people standing the water up into their homes. What the heck is that? 6 a.m. Novato. It was just before sunrise when Barry Formslog looked up. It was just unbelievable. It was spotted in three states. Nevada, where this video was shot, California and Oregon. in Hokkaido caused flooding on streets and rivers. An evacuee said he'd never experienced this much rain. has caused fresh flooding. Here in Croatia, around 2,000 people needed to be evacuated southwest of Zagreb. Surging river waters rose at the rate of 10 centimeters an hour. Neighboring Slovenia was also hit in eastern and south-central regions. These floods come over four months after Bosnia, Croatia and Serbia were hit by the heaviest rainfall since records began over one century ago. On patrol in Serbia. In parts of the country, streets have literally become rivers. Those who have been hit say they have never seen anything like it. Serbia was hit by severe floods in May that killed 57 people. 
The damage helped tip the economy into contraction before the latest daily. deal making landfall on Mexico's Baja Peninsula. Waves battering the resort town of Los Cabos. Winds up to 125 miles per hour. The category three storm blowing out walls of windows in this hotel. Spanning 600 miles across, hurricane force winds extend 50 miles from its center. Local homes and businesses are destroyed. Some residents were seen looting local markets. Tens of thousands of tourists are waiting to get out of the hurricane ravaged resort areas. I thought this part of the building falling off, the vibration was really intense on the building. It felt like earthquakes. A number of Americans tried to flee to the airport and get out before the storm hit, only to find there were no outgoing flights. The deals affect already bringing monsoonal moisture as far as Arizona derailing this train and ripping this roof. It's a part of the state known for its dry weather and high temperatures, but now southeastern New Mexico looks less like a desert and more like a swamp. It was coming down more than I've seen in my lifetime. More than nine inches of rain fell in just two hours in Loving on Friday. The village just outside Carlsbad averages only 15 inches of rain each Old year. Old Northern California logging town called Weed rightfully brags about its natural beauty. But tonight, much of it is up in flames. Trees turned into kindling, feeding a wildfire that has driven hundreds of people from their homes. That is just one of a dozen major wildfires in the state tonight. 6,000 firefighters are battling flames that have burned well over 183,000 acres. The wind-driven wildfire exploded Monday afternoon, burning cars, buildings, and destroying more than 110 homes, plus the Catholic Church.
being pounded by heavy rain. We're talking a lot of rain tonight. Some folks have seen over a half a foot of rain in literally three hours today. Yeah, this is unbelievable. Up to 10 inches of rain drowning Central Florida. Daytona Beach picking up more than eight inches of rain in the past 24 hours. Now kayaking through their wettest September on record. Earthquake right now. 6.2 earthquake Thursday, about 80 miles northwest of Anchorage. It was strong enough to stop a senatorial candidate's news conference. Man, have you ever seen anything like this in September? In Napa, of all places, the freak hailstorm hits the Bay Area tonight. Yeah, Paul, you were in it. This was just it was crazy. It was nuts. I've done this for about 20 years. I have never seen a hailstorm in the aftermath like this. Driving around in Napa tonight, it literally looks like it's snow. Some of the pictures on Twitter give you an idea of how deep it is. Anywhere from four to six inches of ice. Severe storms moving across the southwest tore the roof off a terminal at Sky Harbor Airport. As the storm approached, the entire sky turned dark and ominous. You can see power lines exploding in a ball of fire as flying debris hit electric lines and transformers. Rain so heavy, roads saturated. Damaging winds clocked at 75 miles per hour. More rain on the way. Utah could be hitting the record books. We've already seen two inches of rain this month alone, and that's an inch higher than we saw last year during September. Carbonville was turned into a mud pit over the weekend. Rescue crews had to wade through chest-high sewage water because the sewage treatment plant overflowed.
Firefighters have been mobilized and sent to the Languedoc region in southern France, where heavy rains have caused widespread flooding. On Sunday night, up to 20 centimeters of rain fell in the region. The city of Montpellier has been particularly hit, with dozens of roads made impossible by running water after the river Les burst its back. Severe weather brought snow to Colorado central and western mountain ski areas. In the Denver area, golf ball-sized hail slammed parking lots and backyards. Monday's hailstorm damaged more than 500 cars and shattered when the World Health Organization has announced that the death toll in the Ebola epidemic in West Africa has now exceeded 3,000. WHO officials say the world's worst Ebola epidemic in history may kill tens of thousands of people before it's over. The Ebola outbreak reaches America. A man diagnosed with the virus, the first ever confirmed in the United States. An individual traveling from Liberia has been diagnosed with Ebola in the United States.